welcome back beautiful people this video is going to be a motivational video so i'm just showing what the store looks like right now but we're gonna go all the way back to how the store was when i started out the only reason i'm doing this is so that i can encourage each one of you to not give up on your dreams i see the emails that you send me and you guys are losing hope so here i'm at the store where i bought the fixtures this was actually a Coles location that was closing i say this over and over again use your facebook marketplace to check stores that are closing near you and you can get fixtures for really cheap here were like 50 dollars a piece and i i got a lot then the next video um here i am in the store right now some of them didn't fit uh, so they are in the back and I had to break the door to get them in here is what the store looked like when I got it um, if you guys have not followed my story then you might not know that the store was a previously Korean owned store and they left a lot of junk in the store and as well as fixtures and hooks and all that so we did pay for some for the build outs because this person would have broken down everything and it would have costed them some money to break down you know everything and dispose of it and we needed it so we came up with a number that is both fair to them and to us and so we got that <laughs> unfortunately part of the deal was we were going to clean up the store for them so as you can see all these trash bags that was work that i did before we opened the store all right over here um i'm just talking about what i'm gonna do with the store so i was deciding the layout of the store i was deciding where the wigs will go where clippings will go where makeup will go i mean i was just deciding this while recording the store so that when i go um back to the to my office i could decide where things will go so right now i'm just you know pointing out at things and that's basically what i'm doing for example they had these foldable tables that really would not fit with our store there was these um hideous uh sunglasses thing behind there there's the wall the glass walls were covered and we decided to open that up so more light can get in the store there's a lot of things that we changed from what the previous store used to look like but there's some things that we kept So on this wall, I was deciding what I will do like uh, with the salon space. So what we did is I ended up selling fixtures like these hideous gondola shelves. I call them hideous just because I didn't feel like they suited with the aesthetic of the store. So I sold those ones and the, the wooden shelves behind there where we have the salon, I sold some of those as well. I still posted them on Facebook Marketplace and I mean people are still looking for it so some people came and got it. Then behind here we had a lot of like junk hair, junk products that were in there and we wanted to start the store afresh without any products. So what we did is everything that we felt we did not need we put we sold it. So we posted on Facebook Marketplace and sold them. So now you're here when I open the store. As you can see, the shelves are very empty and your girl opened the store looking like this. This is just when you were unpacking things. We were still receiving items. The store was not very full, but we were confident enough that it's going to get better. And instead of waiting for all the vendors to ship everything, 
we just decided to open and go and start you know making sales while we'll wait for the vendors to ship items so you can see how the wigs are so spaced out we had really good quality human hair we still have them if you know my story you know why i have good human hair in the store and then we got more mannequin hairs we got more wigs we got more accounts up to i mean this is what it looked like when we started out so fast forward sometime last year this is what the store looks like now we have wigs everywhere we have sales going on we have you know a lot of we are running actually out of space <laughs> to be honest with you this is why we have the wig sales i mean just look at the store right now and then just you know get motivated this is this could be your dream you're just wasting time So this is part of the crochet hair that we have in the store. This is the uh, Caucasian hair that I have. And here I'm showing you actually how we put the wigs in the store. They're all arranged in alphabetical order so that it's easier for someone to find the item that they're looking for. Now we're here at present time so what happened is all the wigs came to this side of the wall you can see all the wigs moved to the right side um, if you're following my videos you know why that happened um, I'll just I'm gonna give you like a sneak preview so hair is your best seller in your store hair is where you'll make the money and I talk more about it and how beauty supply stores can be profitable so go watch that video braided wigs are really good clients love them and we get our braided wigs from sensational so this is what came in last month um, i like sharing you know vendors sometimes because you guys keep asking me where can i get this where can i get that i actually do have a vendor list that has all the vendors that you'll need to open your beauty supply store and has all the products that you need to order from them so i specifically tell you like when you open a vendor account with this vendor this is what you need to buy from them don't buy this because it's not popular but buy this because it's popular so back here i'm showing you where we put our wigs they are also arranged okay in so now we're at order. the end of the video these are I some of the styles that came so that I can in january finish the video Thank you so much for watching. If you're out there thinking about opening a beauty supply store, you're stuck, you don't know where to go, who to get help from, you can always reach out to me at bilaxbeautysupply at gmail.com. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.